Basic Runway YouTube channel where we cover the intersection of fashion and technology. I'm your host Amanda Costco. thanks so much for tuning in. So towards the end of last week we released a CES fashion tech video looking at what we're keeping an eye on in terms of fashion tech at the Consumer Electronics Show which just wrapped up in Las Vegas, Nevada and we identified three key areas of interest and they were smart glasses, smart jewelry and smart home. So today, this is a follow-up video to all of those smart things. We're gonna hone in specifically on smart glasses in this video and do a couple of follow-up posts looking at the different categories. So if you love smart glasses, this is the video for you. So we predicted that this was gonna be a really big year for smart glasses and certainly there was a lot of buzz in this space. A few companies we told you to keep an eye on were Vuzix, a developer and manufacturer of wearable tech. Their Blade 3000 smart sunglasses took home four CES 2017 Innovation Awards. And so we mentioned how these would work a lot like Microsoft HoloLens, where you're not immersed completely in a virtual world, but you have digital components layered on top of your reality. We also saw a number of products looking to lower the barrier to entry for VR experiences. We're Homino VR and we make a headset that looks kind of like your Oculus Rift or Vive, you know, really quality, comfortable, but it works with any smartphone at all. So if you have an iPhone, you have an Android, whether it's new or old, you can get really good VR experiences from that. Uh, and here at the demo, we're showing that we can do augmented reality with a, a virtual real-time strategy game that sort of holographic on, on your table. Uh, we've got a VR cinema with showtimes where people are watching high quality 360 videos with horror, cartoons, etc. And then of course we've got lots of VR games. CES this year is amazing for ODG. We're announcing the R8 and R9 uh, products. The R8 is our first foray into the consumer marketplace. It features the Snapdragon 835 processor, the world's first 835 processor. These are high-end tablets on your head. They're AR, VR, and mixed reality devices. So if it seems that we're collapsing the VR, AR, and smart glasses categories, um, we kind of are, and that's intentional. We don't want to say that VR is the same thing as AR and smart glasses. Certainly, VR remains immersive, but we're seeing less of a distinction between the bulky headsets that we saw for augmented reality last year and smart glasses. They're really becoming one in the same. And so as glasses kind of mature and evolve, we're going to expect more of those digital features on them in the future. So of course the most exciting announcement for us fashion loving folks was the announcement that happened in December that Toronto based Interaction, the creators of Muse, the brain sensing headband, are going to be teaming up with Safalo Group. They're the Italian manufacturer of sunglasses. They make frames for the likes of Fendi and Dior and of course Muse has all this experience making a consumer grade EEG device. So this is a match made in wearable technology heaven and what they've come up with is these Smith frames. And these are what we'd call quiet technology. They don't necessarily announce themselves as wearable technology, but the glasses have sensors on them that allow you to monitor your brain activity throughout the day so you can hone in on when you're focused and when you're distracted. We really see this being a great tool for anyone who wants more insight into their emotional state. So what are you watching for in terms of fashion tech at CES 2017? In terms of smart glasses or in terms of fashion tech in general, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. As always, you can follow along all of our fashion tech adventures on Twitter and Instagram at electric underscore runway and we just launched our Facebook page as well. You can tune in there. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.